Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here and that you've come for some inspiration or motivation. Either way, I'm glad that you're here. And today I'm pretty much doing my weekly cleaning routine. I go through the whole house, get it all covered, make sure that I clean up from the week and just get the bathrooms done, the dishes, really washing up the kitchen, and of course mopping and getting floors done. If you're totally new here, my name is Adeline Zook and I have three little girls. We live in North Carolina and I do a lot of homemaking and motherhood style content and I just have a huge heart for moms and homemakers and would love to inspire you and get you up and moving to get your things done that you have on your list for the day. So I started out in the living room and like you see here, I'm actually using a Norwex Enviro cloth on my couch and I jokingly told my husband the other night that I think I may take one over my entire couch because they clean the upholstery so well, but I think I may actually do it. <laughs> so wait and see if I get up the nerve to actually wipe down my entire couch with an Enviro cloth and see if it gets it clean. If you'd like to see that, let me know. Also, like I said, I do use Norwex to clean my house. And if you're totally new to Norwex, it removes 99% of bacteria from surfaces with just water. I also make my own cleaners with essential oils and other natural elements because you can use those along with Norwex cloths. I will leave a link in the description box and you guys can check out a video that I did recently where I took chicken, yes, chicken, raw chicken, and under a black light show you how well it actually does remove bacteria. Alright guys, I have a quick little oil hack for you. I love running my diffuser, especially whenever I'm cleaning, and today I'm doing grapefruit and lemongrass, one of my favorite combinations for when I'm cleaning the house. It's so fresh and clean. So I noticed the other day, whenever I put my oils in, that a lot of them sat in kind of a big clump in the middle of the water inside of the diffuser. So I grabbed my little like coffee frother, milk frother thing from Amazon. I love this thing. You guys, a lot of you have it too. And I actually like kind of stuck it in there to break up the oil droplets and it made the scent of the oil in the house so much stronger and it just made it work so much better. So I thought I would share this little hack with you guys in case you want to try it out and see if it does the same thing in your diffuser. So this is my youngest daughter's room. It's also where majority of our toys are. So of course the toys get pulled out and dumped around and the girls are such great helpers at picking up their things and putting them in the right bins. Sometimes I think it actually kind of motivates them to sort the toys out 
to go in the correct bins and of course whenever I help them out they like that as well and they get excited that mommy is going to pick up toys with them on a total side note for those of you that watch my channel regularly I think Hazley is 90% potty trained she is doing so well I'm so proud of her and she gets so excited at feeling like a big girl and being out of diapers I took an Enviro cloth and just wiped down their little kitchen. It was getting kind of dirty and I just want to make sure that I'm getting a lot of the bacteria cleaned up and out of our home. I'm so much more conscious of that these days and so as you've probably noticed, you see me using things that will remove bacteria and just keep us healthy and clean. And I just wanted to let you guys know, as a reminder, you can always leave prayer requests in the comments and I take time to pray for those requests. I just feel like right now, no one should feel alone with everything that's going on in our world. So please do that if you feel you have a need today. In a video I put up not that long ago, I made these toilet bombs. I will be sure to link it below in case you missed it. They're super simple to make and they smell so good. And whenever you drop them in the toilet, they do fizz and and clean the toilet so usually I put that in the toilet and then I take my anti back cleaner and spray down the toilet while the toilet bomb is going to work and then I take my toilet cloth and wipe down the toilet I basically just keep a designated cloth in that color for the toilet so that I know which one is for that and I can keep it separate from the ones that are for other areas of the house This is the scrubby corner cloth and it's basically like a regular Enviro cloth but it has that little scrubby corner and I really like this for my sinks because I can take that and scrub around the drain and get it good and clean. I'm not broken. Do keep an eye out for my last video of this month because I will be announcing in the description box who won the Norwex mop for this month. I did a giveaway between the 1st and the 15th and anybody that placed an order with Norwex, you were in a drawing for a free mop and I will be doing some more giveaways like that. So keep an eye out. I have some fun things planned. I'm about to dig into scrubbing my shower, but I got something new and I wanted to show it to you guys. So this is the tub and shower scrubber from Norwex. And of course it has all of the power to remove 99% of bacteria from your surfaces. But it's really cool because it's like a mitt. So you can go ahead, make it wet and just go to scrubbing. This side has kind of like a 
scratchiness to it and then this side removes all of the goop and shampoo and whatever might be in your tubs and showers. So I have never had one of these and I'm really excited to try it out. First I took my tub scrub mixture and if you're looking for the recipes for my cleaners you can go to my oily page. It's Adeline's Oily Tribe on Instagram. So I sprayed the shower down with that first and then I went ahead and used the scrubby side. Scrubbed out the whole shower including over the glass. It's totally safe to use on glass. And then instead of taking my cup that I usually use to rinse out the shower I just went ahead and rinsed out the mitt and then flipped it over and used the soft side to wipe everything down and oh my goodness I wish so bad that I would have had this mitt way longer it was so great it got everything really clean and it was so fast and easy next to using a scrubber and a cup and just the whole mess so if you have a tub or a shower that doesn't have a detachable shower head I definitely recommend using that it's so much easier than trying to wash everything down and then also on the glass door just to shine up the glass I used my purple window cloth and wiped over that just to kind of take all of the water off <laughs> And then these are the hooks where I hang all of my Norwex stuff whenever I'm done cleaning, um, just so that the silver that's inside of them can go to work getting rid of any leftover bacteria. So to do my windows and my mirrors, I just take an Enviro cloth and wash them over the surface and then I wipe them down with the window cloth. And it does such a great job and if you're a mom that has little ones that puts fingerprints and food and all kinds of things on your windows or your mirrors, these are so great because it removes grease and so any oils that are left behind, it just cleans it right up. This is one thing I love about this Shark Flex vacuum is you can flex it just like I did and get underneath of beds and you know dressers, anything that you wouldn't normally be able to get to with a regular style vacuum. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. If you guys missed it, I just moved my coffee bar over to this corner and I love it so much and the sun comes in this window in the morning. It's just so cheery when I get my first cup of coffee. I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This is another recipe I recently shared with you guys and that is my dishwasher tabs that I make. They're so simple and they smell so good. And then in my rinse aid, I always put white vinegar and then sometimes I even splash a little white vinegar inside of the dishwasher. It does a great job at keeping my glasses clean and clear. Like you.
When I was finished washing up the leftover dishes, I just scrubbed down my little draining rack and everyone asks where that comes from or I get a lot of comments about it. And it's actually from Ikea and I think it was like $4 something like that, the best $4 ever. I love that thing. It's so convenient when I have cups or just little things to wash that I wanna drain right there. Then I sprayed my sink down with some of that tub scrub that I make and also added a little baking soda and scrubbed it out. And I do the same method as I do with my glass and mirrors on my stainless steel. I just use the Enviro cloth and then the window cloth. We have been doing so many craft projects and things with, since we've been home so much. So I actually have been leaving this tablecloth on my table just because we've been painting and doing a lot of things like that almost every single day. So I decided for now, since this is our new daily routine, I'm just going to leave it on there unless I want to clean the table or I'm having guests over. I've been very adamant about keeping this entryway clean. If you guys don't know this, 85% of contaminants come in the first four feet of your front door, which is crazy. So that is why I love being able to rely on my Norwex mop. I know that it's removing all the bacteria that comes in on our floors. And then of course I take an Enviro cloth over the doorknobs and the doors, just anything we would be touching as we come through the door. He's the one that I died for Can't along side by side Pretty much every day, I do at least one to two loads of laundry, depending on what I'm washing or if I accidentally forgot or just didn't have time the day before to do my load. And it helps me keep this under control so much better. And I had extra clothes this day because the day before I had actually cleaned out our closet, if you guys saw that video. And so there was like things that I didn't know if it was clean or dirty. And so I actually had a little bit extra laundry this day, but I always make sure that I get it all put away. If this video inspired you to do something, take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram. You can use the hashtag inspired by Addy and then I'll be able to find it and see what you're up to. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed and joined my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.